What's up guys, this is the Roman and I am back to bring the next episode of my Napoleon Total War Let's Play as Great Britain. So to round off where we left off, we are ambushing a Russian column, which should be pretty neat. Um, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that, but too bad it's not one of the named generals. So let's kill him. I mean I presume rather than first. There we go. Delicious. Poor souls. I mean, this isn't a terrible formation. Well, it might be a terrible formation because all of my artillery is over here with very little support. Not that I'm opposed to in principle, it's just they've got lots of cavalry. So what I'll do is I'll probably group up my cavalry here, ready to charge into them. Let's bring these three units over here. I mean, let's bring my rifles over to here as well. And the unit of Dutch line here. Apart from that, everyone's all lo everyone's all loaded, all ready to fire. Might see some fratricide. run these guys up to engage their infantry block. Can you canister? Yes, you can canister. That's kind of you. General's doing what he can, but they're being fired on from all directions. So I expect to be some expect there to be some fratricide. Drop target fire into the centre of this massive Infantry. Glorious victory, sir, is soon to be yours. God, I'll tell you, it's a wrecking face. Complete routes. Let's just bring my general over, ready to interdict once they've left the pocket. Absolutely continue. Let's also bring my cavalry out. If they don't route through this gap, they'll be completely destroyed as they run through my infantry units. There's going to be lots of friendly fire, but I don't care. Then once they're in position... Halt fire by rank. Or halt fire at will, at least. Sir! Sir! Our general is under attack. I know he is. There you go. As our cavalry just spill onto the field after them. 
Probably won't get lots of kills because they've done a nice job at spreading out. But I'll take some over none. Like this. Chop, 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 chop. Look at that. Lovely stuff. Ride them down. They're going to route. They're going to route. So let's just go help this unit with their problems. Soon my general's unit's going to... The unit my general's chasing is going to route. She's probably not going to route before. Hi, oh, death. Close victory. That was nowhere near close. That was a brilliant win. Look at that. We lost 200 men. We lost almost their entire force. See, this Russian attempt, this Russian breakout has just fizzled out into nothing. Let's see if the Kingdom of Belgium does anything useful for once. Nope, it seems they are content to... Um, they are content just to potter around the Atlantic. Oh. Could ambush them. Um, but no. I need to bring these kingdoms into my walls as well. Good, the Portuguese continue to march east. Found a Polish a Greek agent. Got some dragoons recruited. Let's see all of them marching. Well, you can actually wait on the border. Ready to attack Istanbul. Beresford can take the bridge and be ready to move against the last Prussian the last Prussian territory. Oh get into the Balkans. Attrition has started. So who's dying? You are dying from attrition. So let's get you into Milan. Wellesley, you're doing very bad. So let's bring you back to Warsaw. Let's bring Wellesley back to Königsberg. Kamenets is doing okay. To be honest, the southern flank is doing pretty good. Alexander Abercrombie march into the trees. Spies are on the move. Is this a general? No, it's just a Dragoon unit. Let's infiltrate their capital. Lots of really good quality line infantry, though. Yeah, Frederick Adam, let's get you into, into safety. Henry Paget. Damn! They actually accepted the siege. I was like, I'm, I can't win, and I can't stand out here and siege them either. I'll try and demand, see, a demand a surrender, and it worked. But I think it just teleports. What well, doesn't teleport anyone anywhere? Um, but yes, we finally hit Russian winter. Upgrade the roads. Okay, so Principality of Wallachia. Open, join wars against the Russians. Here is 20, I could just type the number in, but meh, 20 grand. Good stuff. Let's give them a state gift of China. Let's make, in order to let's make uh, our protectorates that are unhappy with us happier with us. There you go. Give you some jewellery. Give, 
be a thoroughbred. Good, it's done good terms with our subjects. Okay, so... A lone merchantman. You hop down to La Corona. Then you'll hop down to Gibraltar. Then probably to one of our other safe, safe ports. And then we will hop over and take Istanbul. And we will be attacking the French. We're currently at peace. I'm with them. And they don't really have much of an option but to take it. But I will be attacking them. No one else is being... Oh, you're unhappy. So go after them. Because you're not experiencing attrition there. You're okay. Stuttgart garrison is okay. Switzerland is okay as well. Everyone's okay. Ah, uh, yes. Kingdom of Hungary. Join war against Russia. And I'll offer you... 20 grand. Good stuff. Because yeah, now it's going to be a bit of a hunger downtime because I get I get experienced attrition and they don't. So it's hit and turn. So yeah, there's going to be a bit of a downtime but it'll allow my spies to move up. Not that I think Russia has forces really against me to stop me. They all seem rather weak and feeble. Especially as the southern flank is still open. So we can still we'll still be attacking against Moldova, Bessarabia, Istanbul, the Greeks. <laughs> Blue crew actually takes <laughs> takes attrition as he advances across the river. Yeah, desperately trying to cobble together some forces to stop me. But there really isn't much you can do. You being the Russians. I mean, they can be an annoying, like what they're doing, but... Ooh, Vilnius is going to be under attack in a turn. I mean, if they want to raid me, that's okay. Yeah, that's fair enough. Raids I can deal with. That means that they will just get crushed when the snows retreat, retreat which is probably going to be February. And we can still continue to make war on them. And they can't really do anything about it either. The Belgians are raiding the trade ships. <laughs> Hungary's very upset. I mean... I mean, okay, Greece. Winter attrition. Don't worry, get in. There we go. Whew. Successful mission, James Robertson. Building sabotaged. The devils. Agent detected. It's another gentleman. We've got some construction going on, which is good. I mean, I can probably afford to send out a force to kill Grigory Ritkin. And attrition be damned. We are mighty and unbound. 
because we lost so few men. Oh, one more turn and we'll we'll have forts. Damn. Well, I think we should be capable of defending, especially if we've got lots of these guys, which are militia, so they'll fall quite quickly. I mean, even you at Kamenets, you can advance east straight out of the attrition zone. Let's recruit some fencibles at Kamenets. So the Prussians are in here somewhere. No one will know. Secrecy is so I don't really want to attack that way because they'll ambush us. Let's just move you to Bucharest to secure the city. John Oswald will be replenished in due course. Brest would move could move them up and siege the city and just force them to do something, but I do want to know where this chap is. A spy network established in Isasi. So a complete view of their forces. Lots of cavalry. Thomas Graham. Available. Enemy army withdraws. That was Ritkin up here. I mean... Yeah, I wanted to see what would happen if we intercept. So they've intercepted us because they know we're just a small unit. But if we retreat... Can Alexander Abercrombie advance through and just take Greece? He may be ambushed. Let's risk it. <laughs> GG, Greece. I suppose you just didn't want to exist. <laughs> they had a full stack... And the garrison. And they ran off to the... Leaving behind a pretty weak garrison. And I'm pretty sure this is their last territory. Or their only territory. Come on, Abercrombie. Still with your original six-pounders. Put our fusiliers in the centre. Put three units of line and one light on one flank. Ooh, that's a bit dodgy, actually. Let's make it so it's at least two units of line, of regular line infantry on each flank. Treat the, the light infantry as line infantry for now. General in the centre, house in the centre. Let's get cracking. It looks like they might, they might be coming to advance on us. And this flank looks a bit weak. Oh, it's because this light foot has... deployed a bit funnily. If I do that, what happens? Yeah, one unit falls back, I'll move them over to the right. And that's you. So you can also come over here. Then on the other flank. Should I take this hill? No, no. Not retreat. Group six, my cavalry. Let's get you up on the hill. So who's over here? Armed citizenry, infantry line, infantry line, militia. There we go. So we're ready to receive a Greek attack. So let's speed up time somewhat. It's a very elite force I've got going on. Lots of experience across the board, especially with my artillery. Let's 
angle the artillery a little bit more. So we get the distinct impression, once I turn on the guns, they will probably um, go on the offensive. Because we can afford to pound them for a little bit. Oh well, yeah, here they come. Oh no, not yet. They can't make up their mind how they want to do this. So let's take our infantry and advance. That was a bit funny. I thought, wait a minute, my centre center formation isn't just four fusiliers. Turns out it is. Because one of them have moved to the right flank. Poor souls. at all with the guns. Speed up time in a little bit. I mean, it looks like these guys might actually just abandon City Hall. British Fusiliers are on their way. Especially if you're going to bunch up like that. Oh, they're about to get out of range of one of my gun batteries. Guys up. It's lots of damage with artillery being done. Speed up time. Just let all my moving pieces get in position. General. Let's run my fusiliers. Run the ones up to here at least. The rest of them can walk through the town. First unit's broken. I mean, this my house is probably going to be out of range as well. Okay, let's stop being passive. Run up. Cavalry. Open up on the militia garrison. All of you run. Push right up into their faces. to my
militia garrison want to musket want to fight with bayonets we can fight with mus with bayonets I mean they, f they folded almost instantly we have taken the buildings up damn right we captured the town hall not just any building I mean, they formed square, but we've broken it. So. Enemy general killed. I mean, yeah, this is. Continue. Bring my general in. Well, one of them militia units has come back. Glorious victory, sir, is soon to be yours. Sir, sir, our general is under attack. I'm sure he is, but not really. Should let my infantry mop him up. Or let my cavalry mop him up. Although they are going to successfully rout, so most of them are, but it's not going to matter because it's a city battle. Well, I haven't had a battle fall apart like a house of cards like that so quickly. But then again, they are. They were just lots of not very good infantry. Well, we had our elites. Damn Rose decisive victory. Now Athens, Athens is ours. <laughs> 94 men we lost. Let's liberate them to a friendly kingdom. That means we can also move Nelson around. Knock out this Russian fleet. It's a big old fleet. They've retreated. Good. So let's go block the straight. Then Mr. Abercrombie, move up onto the road to Istanbul. These are our garrison forces, although they're actually going to scout ahead. Perhaps the enemy navy has withdrawn. Nelson is raiding. Thomas Masterman Hardy. You're not really doing anything here, so. so there's not really much much for you to do. At least you, the least you can do is wait here and watch the watch the French. Nation destroyed. Kingdom of Greece. A new nation arises. Kingdom of Greece. Considering there's a bunch of really PO'd <laughs> um, Greek troops over here. Name general. To be honest, then this army might do an about turn and head towards, or try to head towards Odessa. So if I put Beresford here, let's bring Oswald up to the bridge. Especially if Abercrombie's going to take Istanbul. Good. Let's hit and turn. My spies keep on moving. To be honest, I'm, I don't mind kind of mashing the end turn because right now I just want to get rid of the winter attrition. They demand trade in 3,000. Shove it, Bony. Yep, so... Oh, they've, done, they've lost a lot of troops. So, Blue has now gone back to Moldavia. Cause really, it's Blue Cross after. I didn't really... I wasn't bothered about trying to destroy the rest of their army. It's about having Blue Crew involved in the final battle for... For, um... 
for the Prussian territory for the Prussian Prussian army. Not the Prussian army, the Prussian faction. It would be unbecoming, I think, if we were to destroy the Prussians without having the final battle involve Blucher himself. So they're heading towards Courland, or they want to head towards Courland. They've run around me. That's okay. Now it means we have walls. Come on, Belgium. Get stuck in, lad. I mean, you're more than welcome to trade if you like. And also they might take one of the ones they freed the one they freed up from the Russian Navy. Lots of attrition on the Belgians. The Hungarians might be immune. No. No, clearly not. Where come the Portuguese? If the Portuguese wanted to initiate an attack on either Stuttgart or Luzerne, that's completely fine. In this yeah, they detected my agent in Novgorod. Good. Development in these areas now will increase your nation's trade income Sir, later. I haven't looked at my research for ages. I suppose it's because I'm so close to the end. Okay, let's upgrade the mines. Let's repair the factory at all. It looks like it's because people are PO'd at me. Let's just take this garrison force, get them back to Courland. Good. Let's recruit a couple more units of line. This army can't... Actually, I'm going to destroy the musket manufactory. This army can't do too much damage because they've got two full stacks behind the lines waiting if they do absolutely anything. But this will be what I want to do, I think. Looking at the timer... On Beresford. Hit Ayasi. Maintain siege. Bring up my reinforcing army. Take Beresford. Attack. Draw Blucher into the fight. And also this other August Schwab, who's also very good, into the battle. But this will be the end of the Prussian faction. So, but looking at the timer, as I said, I think this is the end of this part. So, Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time with the final destruction of the Prussian faction. Cheers guys.